Ah, oh, good, you came back. That means you have actual taste and weren't too offended by my insulting of harem garbage. Wednesday, December 21st. You know, I think the concept of harem could possibly, maybe, in some alternate universe, with extremely careful writing, not be complete garbage. But, um, the standard Japanese tropes just do not, they're not conducive to something that is not garbage. G even I might. Oh, sorry if my voice sounds a little weird in the last video. I can't tell if it's because of my new sound setup. Because like I said, my speakers died, and I actually, uh, not entirely related to that, but uh, I changed to the Elgato sound capture thing, and I think the audio just sounds slightly different. But my voice sounded a little weird, so I moved my mic around. I Another thing I need money for equipment for, I, uh, I've been meaning to get a boom arm for my mic. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how I would handle that. My desk, my current desk is a little small. I still need to set up, I actually got a new desk and I just never really set it up because was a pain in the butt, and uh, my current floor to land isn't final anyway. But uh, what I really want is a boom arm, so I can just have my mic mounted somewhere where I can always just keep it in one spot. I certainly have to take it on and off my desk or it gets in the way. And Parker can obscure it, which ruins it a little bit. And just not having it mounted on arm just causes a lot of minor issues here and there. So uh, that's after I get my graphic next graphics card, that's gonna be in my next major purchase. And boom arms aren't cheap, like, I think it'll be... The one I had my eye on is like a hundred bucks. Um, I guess if it gets me, you know, significantly less hassle, more consistent audio, it'll be worth it. Yeah, recording and everything, uh, <laughs> this isn't free. Anyway, let's actually play the game. Ah, Jill, good timing. Is it? You know, two always make me feel like I'm late. It helps that dog isn't coming in until sometime later. The dog who did literally nothing. Er, I, he scared a customer away, so th that's a plus. Anyway, do you have something planned for Sunday? Watch silly mega Christmas schedules with 100 grams of black fur in my lap? Why? I was thinking about holding a small mega Christmas- <laughs> A small mega Christmas party. This Sunday. You in? Sure, why not? Alright. Invite any client you're acquainted with. The more the merrier. You didn't bring your cat today? The raid stopped. They found whatever or whoever they were looking for. Huh. Anyway, you better start working. Yeah, you better. Ugh, oh, wrecked. I... Sure, let's start off with that one. Time to mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to Val. Uh, new person! Hi, new person! She's a CPU, too. Look at those eyes. Hello. I want a fluffy dream. May I see your ID, please? I don't have an idea. ID, because, um, I'm the ghost of Mega Christmas Past. I'll haunt you constantly unless you give me a fluffy dream. Do you have money to pay for the drinks? Well, I... Do you? Yes, I have money. I'm a bartender at a tender bar. <laughs> Did I forget to give Jill her thing? God damn it. I forgot to give Jill her thing, but I'll be fine for one day. Fluffy meme. Here you go. Better not give the small child alcohol. That would be irresponsible. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, I'm super irresponsible. Age mixed. Here's your fluffy meme. Wow, I actually got a drink. So, who are you here to stalk, Miss Ghost of Mega Christmas Past? Stalk. Oh right, I'm a ghost. Uh, that guy. Yeah. Which employee did you leave without the Mega Christmas skill? <laughs> Chill, please. It would have been funny if you reacted to that. Sorry, kid, I'm not in the mood to humor you today unless you have some sort of ID. Here. Well, in a year or so, I would gladly serve you a drink. I just gave you, like, a gallon of alcohol. But until then, this is no place for you. But I already got a drink. No, because you barely took of the, sick, a dr of the drink I made for myself. You felt like a good Samaritan, and I offered me to... 
offered me to buy it from me so it's not deducted from my pay. Isn't that right, Gil? Yup. Hey. I mean, if you ordered a drink, he would report me. You would have to admit to ordering it. That would bring you a different array of problems. Oh. So, if you would please leave. I can't leave, not after trying so hard to even get here. Sigh. Alright, let's start from the beginning, Miss Norma. How did you know my name? I saw your ID. It could have been a fake ID. Why would you have a fake ID that's under 21? I don't think you're stupid enough to make... 18 is a bit... 18 seems like a low bar. Whatever. Wait, she's under 18? That's like... That's several years from drinking. At least here in America. You're very sharp, Miss Bartender. You look like a nice girl, Norma. Why would you come to a bar like this? Uh, um... You seem like you're in a bad mood, Miss Bartender. Nah, she's always like that! Wrecked. Shut up. Okay. Sorry if that was loud. Well, I have a compressor. It shouldn't be that loud. Though I, I hear you can, like, get a compressor, like, for real time, like, for streaming and stuff. I'm not trying to set that up. It's not really a huge concern. I, I do want to learn more about audio mixing stuff. If anybody has any recommendations for, like, learning audio stuff, like, I've been meaning to, uh... I have Audacity, and, uh, there's some basic audio editing stuff I can use in Sony Movie Studio Platinum, Platinum. but, uh... I do want to get better at that. I've been... I, I think I've been getting pretty good at making thumbnails this the past few months. Like, I've learned a lot about using GIMP to uh, edit stuff. That's just another skill I'd like to add. If I kind of want to go freelance someday, and then hopefully I would have a lot more time, and ideally get a bit more, like, money out of the whole writing and YouTubing stuff. Um, and then I'd be able to make more professional stuff. That's sort of what the whole patron is about. See how much time I could ideally be able to dedicate to this. Currently not amazing, but uh, who knows. Anyway, sorry if I've been harsh. These last couple of days have been heavy. Having someone underage here reminds me of a certain incident from last week. Please don't piss all over the walls, this little girl. Incident? Well, don't change the subject, young lady. Why are you here? Why is your hair so good? Why do you care? I can do whatever I want. Whatever, whatever, I do what I want! I ruined 12 gangs! Unless it's illegal, which anyone can, probably will stop you. Hmm. I just, I just wanted to be more wild, you know? Wild? My mom puts way too many expectations on my shoulders. I've always been out to make sure I don't disappoint her. But it's never enough. It's not good enough to just have good grades. She also wants me to go out and take a college preparation course. And I'm tired. I don't want to do things for her anymore. So you can't do a bar. If I came back home smelling like alcohol, she would leave me alone. If I'm not good enough for her, she might as well kill any hope she has in me. It's funny, I have a friend who is also being pressured by her mother. Really? Yeah, but in her case, it's being pressured to settle down and form a family. Ugh. Oh. So let me get this straight. You came here to make your mother disappointed. Yes. Do you like alcohol? Actually, I think it's nasty. Then you're doing things wrong. What? If you're gonna disappoint your mom, at least do it with something you like. Like, become a belly dancer because you want to be a belly dancer. Otherwise, you're just trying to hurt her for the sake of hurting her. Start with something. What do you like doing? I... I don't know. I've been so focused on trying to be good enough that I... that I haven't been able to think about what I want to do. Don't you think you should start there? Eh? What good is doing something just for the sake of hurting someone? She gets disappointed you over something you like doing. You have the right to protest. If you're hurting her by hurting yourself over something you don't enjoy... Sounds silly, huh? Very. Go home. Do some self-discovery before hurting your mom, will you? At the very least, you are until you're old enough to move out. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Miss Bartender. Go me, Jill. Jill? Alright. Careful out there. In the end, you did humor her for a bit. Shut up. Oh, a doggy! Hello, little girl! Oh, shit. G&J, how you doing? Please never call me that again. 
You're late. Missed me, Jay. You're too early. <laughs> oh, good to see you here. Boss, will you be hitting good around here? I'm right here. I know. Of course, I spent lots of time training him. Why do you think he didn't show up last week? Because how the hell would I always know you'd bring a part-timer dog? Here, let me show you. Sit. Sir, yes, sir. Roll. Sir, yes, sir. Paw. Sir, yes, sir. Training, of course. He's only shouting sir, yes, sir, not doing anything else, though. I never said I did a perfect job. Is that another motorcycle? Oh, shit. Hey, not in my office. In the end, he's just a dog, I guess. Oh, it's the Akira guy. Kaneda! Bathroom. Oh, I'm sorry, it's only for clients. <gasps> Kaneda! Oh, wait, no. Tetsuo! Oh, um, wait, no, which one is... Oh man. I haven't actually seen all of Akira, to be quite honest. I Actually, I think I bought it. I bought several, like, famous anime movies and then I never watched them. <laughs> that's, that's what I do. Wait, did he have Akira written on his jacket? Or on his inner thing? Who the hell are you? The other one... Sheesh. I said get out of my desk. But the world's ending. It was just a motorcycle. Oh, that's why he's scared. They're the four riders then! Those are horsemen and it already stopped. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to say Akira or something. Thanks. Oh, he's got, he's got an eyebrow scar just like, just like me. Well, mine's more in the middle. But yeah, you get a scar on your eyebrow. That crap never heals. The, the hair doesn't. Well, the scar is still visible too, but the hair that doesn't grow is also not there. Uh, I need to buy something now, right? Yes. Oh no, you don't have to. Sorry if it meant like I looked to inconvenience you. No, I'll order something. I'll need to rest anyway. He has goggles on his jacket. I guess that's practical. Look at this perma-popped collar. That is... That is some garbage chic fashion. Some trash chic fashion. What can I get you? A piano woman would be nice. Sorry, I didn't hear you. I'll have a Mars Blast. What? Oh, he was mumbling. Eh, uh, sure. Hi, bartender. Tender bar. No, you're getting a piano woman. I wonder. I wonder which one I'm supposed to give him. I'm just gonna give him a piano woman on the DL. Uh, Bronson. Age next. Here's your piano woman. You look happy. Shut up! Is that motorcycle out there yours, Mr. Call me Mario! <laughs> it's -a me, Mario! Yes, it's mine! Sorry for the noise! Oh, don't worry. It's not like you stayed out too long or anything. So you work as Mario. I live to paint the roads, back with my wheels, leaving the trail of my engines announced wherever I go. I'm a rebel, Mario! Fuck the red lights! Fuck the speed limits! Fuck the pasta! Fuck the helmet laws! The roads are mine and mine only! I'm. Guys, I've gone outside with the dog. We'll advertise the bar! Hello, doggy! You'll make a fine a tanuki suit! Hello, sh Hello, shady guy! Shady! Oh no, my people, we are very not shady. We eat the pasta. We are very non racist Italian stereotypes! Who is she? Oh, she's my boss. She was a cute. Er, not that you're not cute. Not that I'm... Not like I'm into girls, either. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that! I don't think you get to not that there's anything wrong with that yourself. Like, I'm... <laughs> how do you... Wow. Anyway. Where do you work, Mario? I told you, I'm a rebel! Rebels can't maintain those spikes for too long. What's your day job? I'm a delivery boy! I deliver the pasta to the warp pipe! That's really appropriate, I guess. What do you deliver? I'm from a courier company, so it's kind of like mail, I guess. I'm always around the city. I know it like the palm of my hand. Sure, I might not remember the, every building, but I remember every intersection and every street. That's nice. Still can't take detours without taking, feeling totally lost. Try guiding yourself with the help of the landmarks, like the Bowser and the, the pizza pasta. 
around here like Saber's station's antenna, like a big pizza pie. It's a good reference. <laughs> what do I care? Fix that yourself. Fix it that to yourself, a bitch. Uh. Do you want anything else, Mario? Guess a moon blast would be nice. Moon blast. Yee, gut punch. Yeah, that one. Oh shit, I touched. Dozed off. Let's get him a Mars blast, I guess. Wait. Wait, was it a moon blast or a Mars blast? Frick, there were two. It had to be the girly one. He's secretly, like... I don't know. This guy has issues, obviously. Oh, God damn it. Freaking gay Mario over here that doesn't even... He doesn't even know which type of tough he wants to be. On the rocks, blended. He must have asked for the moon blast, right? Here. Hey, this is good. This is good. It's a moon blast. <gasps> I... No, never mind. Uh, say, Mario, why do you try so hard to keep up the tough guy image? It isn't the working. Maybe you arrived here and had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> After that, you just look cute. Cute? So I do it. Bikers are supposed to be the scary, right? Scary like at the Bowser. Rebels that cost the trouble and ride from free from society's ties. Like my brother, Luigi! If we apply that brand of logic here, I should be wearing one third of my clothes and lighting drinks on fire. I'm okay with both of those. I guess, huh? I guess! If you... You can do whatever you want, dress however you want. It's just like you look like you're trying so hard. I don't really enjoy that. It's not a lie! He says he can't dress as a biker and still be a nice kid. Yeah, but the other bikers. Sound like something someone in high school would say. Ugh. It's just advice. Don't take it too personally. No, you're right. I don't have to be that way. Unless you want to. I ain't stopping you here. Yeah, but I don't like it. It's a tyrant and I don't feel good. Mamma mia! If you want, I can try to stay quiet. You're pretty intimidating when you do that. I see. Do you have another drink? Did you have too many already? I can handle another one. Give me a fringe, a weaver. Do you have food for forge at home? Give him a fringe weaver, I guess. Ugh, it's the it's the Everclear one. Oops. Oh, whatever. Let's just give him a big one, I guess. It's easier than resetting it. Aw, oh, crap. I messed it up anyway. Never mind. One aged mixed poop. Fridge weaver. Yep, that's the one! That's the one! Thank you for playing my game. Say, that guy over there. Gil, what's up with him? Are you a dating him? No. Is he seeing anyone? Go ahead and date him for all I care. Not as far as I know. Do you think he. he. No, never mind! I said nothing! Thank you for everything. I go home, I date a Luigi. Ah, uh, Gil, you freaking fuckboy! <laughs> Poor fuckboy. Leave fuckboy alone. Nothing. I'll be taking my break now, Gil. Okay. Careful. Oh, man. My saves are all completely a mess. Let's just go back to saving normally. Um... It was under 20 minutes. I, I, I guess... I guess we're doing full videos, or full episodes now. Billy didn't smell like poo today. That's a new one. Who's Billy? Is that the Shaib? Billy didn't smell like poo today. What? Alright, back to business. Back. Any luck? I guess it's good that we get to see what Jill, like, what happens when you forget the thing. But I'll try not to do that anymore. Let's go back to the one true ad. I managed to give out some flyers, but most people are too distra distracted by the dog. I had to tell him to go to the Rad Shiba bar. <laughs> the Rad Shiba bar to get the attention. Oh. Anyway, I'm back to my office. You stay here. Fine! I don't really know how to do that voice with a fine. Ah. Oh, the trash has arrived. The door opens and the crowd goes wild when they see... Ah! Oh, dog! 
Sup, little girl? What are you doing here in a bar? Is she afraid of bars? Or dog? <laughs> is she afraid of bars? Is she afraid of dogs? Good. This dog, this is the best thing the dog has ever day. Honey, s some help here. Hey, dog, I hear some cats in the alley. Really? I'll go check them out. No, stay here! Ah, no! You were scaring the pedo bot! Well, you really are bad with dogs, eh? Did that make it too obvious? Why, though? I don't know. Oh, hey, John. She seems more like the cowardly lion and tin man type. I think it's because I just got that trait at random. When AIs are created, they're given fears and tastes completely at random. I just happen to get stuck with the fear of dogs and chinchillas. Aren't chinchillas dogs? Oh, wait, no, those are those weird mouse things. Chinchillas are extinct, though. Thank God. Well, you'll have. Well, it's that time of the month, so I have a bleeding- Oh my god, I hate you so much. <sighs> How does Boss's hair stay like that? I'm so glad we got blessed with that line. And you're a robot. You do not have periods. Or if you do, we build the worst robots ever. You know, there's even, like, it's stupid that even humans have periods. Um, most mammals do not do that because it's really stupid. So, you know, yet another hole in the whole intelligent design thing. It's kind of just a dumb evolutionary trait we ended up with and don't really practically need. It's just dumb. Anyway, here is a trash drink for a trash lowly bot. Here you go. You would think the red thing would be in the Bloody Mary. But uh, apparently not here. No, we're not having this conversation. <sighs> I hate you. No, silly, we don't. There are a few maintenance things we have to do every month, but those are a different story. What time of the month is it? The time when I feel like drinking a Bleeding Jane. I could punch you right now. So, how's business? You'd be surprised by how many people get stuck by holiday depression and need some Dorothy in their lives. Although it's also the season with the most competition. Didn't know you had competition. Of course I do, both humans and Lilims. Half of them got a sexy Santa dress, and that's not fair. They were sold out, I wanted one too. But maybe it's better that way. So, the other girls like to dress in skimpy clothes and show lots of skin. That scares off lots of people. I learned that the best way to maintain regulars is just to dress normally. Really? If I dress normally, they can just pretend I'm some acquaintance. No need to hide me until I'm reaching the room. I'm pretty sure creepy pedophile robot coming back to you with your room would be way creepier than, you know, an adult human woman, you know, scantily dressed. Or an adult robot woman. I mean, who cares at that point? Hell, some even invite me to a dinner or movie before anything else. Although I must say it's a bit hard to get the clients in the first place. They can't tell what I do at a glance. That, 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 you just destroyed your own argument. You just played yourself, you stupid lowly bot. <sighs> and the first time they see me after call, they think I'm just making a prank or something. <laughs> it's just a prank, bro. Sex bot prank, gone wrong, gone non-sexual. Gone asexual. Huh, I never saw it that way. Which reminds me. Imagine if you Imagine if you're a freaking sex bot and you go to meet the mark and they just fucking laugh at you. That would be amazing. I wanna see that now. I have to bully the stupid pedo bot. It is now my life goal. Which reminds me, do you serve only humans or you serve Lilim too? Humans only, but I do have an at least 40% organic policy. Isn't that incredibly hypocritical? And gross and weird? Human from the neck up. Dicks are preferably organic, but I can make exceptions. Why? Why? Why would a robot be bigoted against organic, or for organics? Hmm. Why? Do you know somebody who might be interested? No. Get out of my bar. Just mere curiosity. Well, your curiosity left me thirsty. Give me a blue fairy. A big one, would you? Alright. Lead actor of the night of... The ID Snatcher's name was... Oh, yeah, I can almost remember it. Yeah, big blue fairy. One, two, three, four... Alright, eight. Um... 
that. I don't want a drunk holy bot in my bar. Just have this. I wonder if anyone has seen fairies after a couple of these. Probably not without any alcohol in it. Some guy tested that by drinking as much as he could. Thought he saw one, but he was dizzy, and then what he seen was his puke. <laughs> How romantic. Ow! You know, early today there was a mega Christmas spirit around here. What about it? I'm realizing I made a fuss to someone who's underage, but here I am. Nothing in particular, just a funny story. I have a funny story myself. It's the Mega Santa prank! The what? Heh, <laughs> it's a prank I pull every year. First, I pick a mall and wait for a day with lots of people. Then I go to Santa's lap, and when I ask what I want... I hate you. I already hate whatever you're gonna say. I say in the most innocent tone I can muster, I hate you! I want you to die. <sighs> okay, it's less awful than I expected, but it's still disgusting and I still hate you. I want you to make me a woman! Sometimes they try to cover it up. The little one wants to be human! That's when I say, no, I want you. You're the worst person. You're not even a person. You are garbage. Get out of my bar. After that, I say, well, at least I want a dildo, a pink pink one, or a very bonky cucumber. Sometimes I spice it up. Instead of cucumber, I ask for a pony and a crane to lift <laughs> Okay, that one's actually genuinely kind of funny. I once thought about screaming, help, I'm being molested. Hate you. But then I remember it was a prank and I didn't want to ruin the guy's life. Pedophile prank! Gone illegal. Although I once got a client that way, he became a regular scene after. Uh, could you please leave? But yeah, three years and they still don't get it that it's always me. What? How old are you? Old enough for anything you want. Numbers. I need numbers. Are you really asking for a girl that, that way? Fine then, tell me your age first. 27. No fair, you didn't get fidgety or anything. Do, do people actually get fidgety about their age? Uh, I'm 26. That's, I'm, I don't, I don't get, I mean, you can always guess like ballpark numbers. The exact number isn't gonna screw you up. Whatever. Fine, I'll tell you. Probably like four. <sighs> I hate you. My model's designed to look between 10 to 13 years old, but my last checkup said my mental age is 24. Are you sure your mental age isn't a pile of rotting garbage? How long since you've been deployed? That's a secret I'll keep with me. Fair enough. I expected you'd get all comfortable talking about your age, though. Why didn't you? Because I'm a reasonable fucking human being. With how dangerous everything's been lately, every year you get matters. Getting old isn't a curse, it's an achievement. You should make a shirt with that, because if you don't, I will. Feel free to do so. Do anything else? Let's see. Oh, a cobalt velvet. It's been a while since I tried one of those. Alright. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say like that. Cobalt velvet. Two. One, two, three. Five of these. On the rocks. You know, I honestly prefer this, I mean, fairly basic, like, not even puzzle gameplay to, um, visual novels that have, like, raising sim elements. Long Live the Queen was good. I think I'll do a video of that sometime. I keep forgetting. Um, that's a very short one. But, uh, I played another half visual novel, half raising sim game. Uh, Cherry Tree High's Girl Fight. I'll probably do a video review of that one. It had potential. Like, it has a card fighting mechanic, which is why I got it, but, uh, it was like 90% Raising Sim. Well, not 90%, but still. It wasn't what I wanted. But I'll save that for the video I actually make on it. I don't dislike it. I guess I'm not mature enough for these drinks. I think you're mature enough for the garbage. Hey, honey, what day is today? Wednesday. It's Wednesday, my dudes. I don't even know what that meme is from. This that That's what I get for being on Twitter. I know memes. I don't even know where they're from. I know it's a reference to something. I don't know what... The number, the number. Number 21. Shouldn't you know that? I'm a Lilim, not a calendar. You should have a calendar in your brain. Thought you'd know that much. Next, you're gonna tell me to make some convoluted calculation. I can't. Could if I put my mind to it, it's not that quick access to. 
Yes, I have an inner calendar and calculator, but those are used in lots of operation, other operations every second. Then shouldn't you be able to access it one more time? It's a lot quicker to just ask you. I, I seriously doubt that. Why do you need the date, though? I have something to do on the 26th. I've been avoiding it for a while now. Oh, hello, creepy robot. Is that, is that scripted or does that just happen randomly? Oh, but don't worry. It's nothing dangerous like that. Just heavy. Would you like some help? Would you help me? If if anybody's just listening to my voice, the, the spooky, glitchy robot lady appeared on the screen again. The, the, um... Crap, what's the name of that movie? The... Th the Ring? Yeah, The Ring and... Is, like, the Japanese one is originally called Ringu and has, like, a bunch of horrible attitudes towards women. You know, I, I love Japanese culture, but there's a lot of really... Well, I love... I love Japanese games, I love Japanese creative works, um, Japanese culture I would probably say is as much good as bad, like there's, you know, um, I'm getting in a, on another tangent, um, but uh, ugh. the way women, age, and work are treated are all just god awful. And that's something, people like to talk about culture as being a good thing, and like, you need to respect culture and stuff. Culture is just a thing. It's not a good thing. It's not a bad thing. There's a lot of bad shit in cultures, you know. Um, racism is a part of culture. Uh, sexism, culture. Uh, w working people to their death or suicide, that's culture. Culture, culture isn't good. It's just culture. Anyway. If you tell me what it is you need help with, maybe later. I need to go now. Good. Get out. See you never. Bye. You think you really can't access calendars and calculators that easily? I guess it's kind of like even if you have a text process you can access on the computer's calendar, you don't use it on like that. Why don't you tell her you missed her yesterday? I forgot about it. I didn't find any cats. Why not look again? Good idea! <laughs> Excellent. Real dog. Oh, hello. You're new. Hello, angry woman. Huh? Another kid? Oh, you're an angry kid. It's hard to tell with these anime faces. Especially without seeing their heights. Maybe the bar got popular in some middle school? That would be a hassle. Oh gods, maybe Alma's right. What about what? The other day I was asking her opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing. We're just- she's just standing here while we're having this conversation. Before the whole massive transmission hack thing. At some point she said about- Hacking becoming a fad and said, Imagine if a bunch of tweens broke in this bar and started asking for drinks. And two kids already. What do you want? Eh. How would bartending become a fad? Maybe a cartoon? These cartoons don't show any alcohol. True. Um. Excuse me, miss. This is no place for kids, so you should. Um. Gil, she's staring too much. She's saying nothing. She's not ordering anything, she's not causing trouble, and there's nothing inappropriate here. I'm pretty sure if you just walked into a bar and stared at the bartender, you'd get thrown out pretty quick. I've never tested this, but... <laughs> nothing inappropriate aside from alcohol, but alcohol is everywhere anyways. So what do you suggest? Let her be? Maybe she's just curious about the bar. She's saying nothing. She's curious and shy. Also, it's rude to speak about people you haven't... You have in front of you like they can't hear you. Yeah. Chill. Blah! Blah! I'll mix drinks and save lives, Bobby. I got I got a fluffy dream in my urethra. Oh, I miss King of the Hill so much. If they made You know what my dream game would be? A rusty Shackleford stealth game. Shishi Shaw! be amazing. Can you help me out here? Like, imagine the South Park RPG, but King of the Hill. Like, that sort of production value and closeness to this sort of material, that would be amazing. <sighs> but no, instead we get freaking Family Guy games. Can you help me out here with a beer? Right. I wonder what it was. <laughs> I'd like to say a rabbit? Yes, give them a rabbit. Aldehyde, Bronson Extract, Powdered Delta, Flangeride. Mixed! Have a beer! Thanks. And lower your guard a bit, please. Oh yeah, before I forget, 
disposal unit comes on Sunday. Do you have any expired ingredients on your side? Alright, yeah. It's a bottle of cardamine that's like a month path of expiration. Put it by the sink so I remember to dispose of it. Thanks. Hey, miss! Yes? Are you happy? Am I happy? Well, that's a weird question. I'm not sad, I guess. I'm not jubilant, but... No, I mean... Are you happy with your life? Your choices? Deep question. I mean, I might have one or two regrets, but I guess it could be worse. Regrets. Yeah, I mean, don't we all? I see. Hey, Jill. Booah! That Jill ain't right. Your gill. Again? Aren't you a bit on edge? Maybe. What do you want? Did you borrow the screwdriver the other day? I did. Why? I forgot to take the coins in the arcades in the corner last week. So I need to take them out. Oh, let's see. Here. It's not like they see much attention these days anyway. Jump change is still money. Pocket change has saved my ass many times. What, did you throw someone's face while escaping? Pocket sand! That only happened once and the old lady started it. <laughs> right. Why doesn't arcade still use coins anyway? It's cool money when you get down to it. For a reason arcades still exist. Nostalgia. Maybe. Hey, miss. Eh? Yeah? Do you recognize me? Recognize you? I want to say I do, but... Sorry. Really? You can't remember your own sister's face? Excuse me? Sister? Sorry, but I don't have any sister. Sister? Not even a sister-in-law? No way. Gabby? Is that really you? God, I'm so sorry, but you've just grown so much since I last saw you. How long has it been? Why wouldn't you just stand here? Three years. That's not actually that long. So you know her? Yeah. She's actually my, my ex's sister. Oh, shit. She's got a ninja scarf! I just noticed that! She's got, like, one of those draping ninja scarves that, like, slide out, like, woo! So, how have you been doing? I actually had to transfer schools, and I managed to skip a grade thanks to the admission tests. I'll be out of middle school next year. No fair! I didn't get to skip any grades in middle school. I skipped a year in high school, but, uh... I actually almost took an extra year of college, but then that last year I decided, wait, no, I'm an idiot. I need to finish this now, so. I still graduated at, I was 21 for less than a month when I graduated. <laughs> I got to do no drinking in college. I think I actually talked about that in this very series, so, you know, booze and stuff. You're always the smart one, so it's no surprise. Have you thought about what you want to study in college? You always said you wanted to be a scientist. I don't know yet. I guess I'll have a couple of years to think about that. Well, don't feel pressured about that. Maybe I'll need a sabbatical year? Oh man, I wish I could take a sabbatical. So, how's Lenore? Wait, who's Lenore? Her sister. She's, um, was, she was my girlfriend. She actually had a relationship with someone who's not a cat? Calling me surprised. Hey, don't talk shit about my baby. Was that your cat or your girlfriend? Whatever. So, how's Lenore doing? She's dead! Oh. <laughs> Awkward! <laughs> Sorry. I don't think I heard right. My sister is dead, Jill. She died last Saturday! Oh, fuck. Came all the way to tell you the news. Come on, Gabby. Stop fooling around. No, you stop fooling around! I mean, wow! Look at that face! She's gonna destroy our world. She's gonna, like cause my shadow to appear and we'll have a massive JRPG battle now. My sister was left to suffer her disease alone while well, you were all merry here, drinking, mixing drinks and chatting. Oh god, I thought she died in the bank thing. Wait, Lenore was sick? What? Since when? Localized nanomachine. Nanomachines! As long as these nanomachines swim through my veins. It gave her a heart attack. She started complaining about chest pains not long after you left. It's all the talk about getting your freedom worth it, Jill. What's your right to marry? Be merry worth the life of my sister? I'm pretty sure I did not give her nano machine sickness. Unless I stabbed her with a syringe or something. Did I infect her with a disease that killed her? No, but it's too much of a coincidence. She started getting worse and worse right after you left. She got visibly sick after your fight. Be no surprise if that fight played a role in killing her. It's just speculation. You can't expect. And all of a sudden, because you wanted freedom? Yes! I wanted freedom, because I'm an American! You get out of here, you freedom-hating commie! What 
kind of freedom isn't so enticing it makes you hurt a nice three-year-old relationship? Was this freedom so important you cut all contact with us? Yes. Freedom isn't free. Freedom costs a buck oh five, you frickin' crying trash baby. Was this freedom so good you left everybody behind? Yes. Yes, it was. Even the tea. Because you know what? Tea that has too many taxes sucks. Anyway. Was this freedom worth the life of- Shut up! Yes! Thank you! Shut up. Yes! Your face! Suffer! All of you stupid little kids want to get up on my business, and I'm not having this shit. You just go in the trash with lowly sex bot, and you just enjoy being garbage. I didn't kill your sister for fuck's sake. It's not like I infect her with that nanomachine rejection. Hell, this is the first time I even heard she was sick. Did you really think that kind of fear drove me to have that argument with your sister? Do you even understand the feeling your youth slipped through your fingers? You think it was easy for me? I was scared! I'm still scared! But I need to grab a hold of my life! It has nothing to do with your sister. I loved her. Do you think that fight didn't hurt me too? I... Idiot. Yeah, get out! Screams. I'm not gonna scream. I was getting into that, but I'm not gonna scream. <sighs> I'll make sure that girl gets whatever she wants to go safely. Meanwhile, Chief... <laughs> Gillian's on frickin' manage client that I send out of the bar screaming duty. It's not a good job, but come on, Jill, let's take you home. Home sweet home. <laughs> hey, Jill, you wanna grab something to eat? Are we gonna go get press the drink button game? No, we're gonna have an eat button this time, I'm calling it. Do you want me to come in? Keep you company? I'm fine, just need to be alone for a bit. Jill. Tell me what you're feeling. It's okay. It's not okay. It's it's not. Come here, Jill. Come here. It's just I feel like part of me is crumbling right now. My old girlfriend was sick and I didn't even know anything about it. Her sister came to me to deliver the news and she held nothing but animosity for me. Not only that, I lashed out at her too. History fucking repeats itself. This is some inconsistent phrasing here. I I can't say I'd be like animosity and then history fucking repeats itself. It's such a calm sentence too. Anyway, maybe if I hadn't cowered back then and apologize, if I wasn't such a selfish little shit. No way! She deserved to be told off. I don't care if she's a little kid. You don't come up in my face and be a, a jackass. I'll tell anyone off. I'll kick your ass. I'll kick my own ass. Thanks, boss. I really needed this. Boss. Kept you waiting, huh? Do you want me to stay with you today? Thanks, but I actually need some time for myself. Time to put my thoughts in order. Yeah, I understand. Don't think funny. Don't do anything funny, you hear me? If any weird thoughts come to you, feel too anxious, call me. Yeah. Hey, Four. She's in your care, you hear? Meow. I know that cat can talk. Remember to call me. I'll call you here. Wait, can can four not talk? And I'm just imagining him saying things. No mistakes. Yeah. Remember, I'm here for you anytime. Flawless service bonus tips. Commission thirty percent. So yeah, we made. We're gonna win, or we're gonna pay our bill. That's a pathetic way to judge winning. Jill smiled a bit at the cutesy poster. Have a nice day. Dot, dot, dot. Well, let's read whatever garbage is going on in the news. So this is about those invisible guns. What? The 4chan is so behind these days. <laughs> is this the greatest thing to ever grace planet Earth? I literally can't stop touching myself. Such a high quality release. Why is the camo blurry? I think it's regulation for the civilian models. Something's off. I would be all over this normally, but I can't seem to get excited over this. Your shit taste is showing. Nah, it's just like... Wait, I just think I kind of just said... You said... I'm kind of tired of the same thing over and over. That's what happens when you consume way too much fucking military and weapon... I... 
I don't think you're supposed to eat those. Yeah, I think it's that. I should stop buying so many weapons or I'll never find pleasure in them again. Any world on the camo stuff for other civilian weaponry? I think they're gonna announce more stuff in a later date. I like porn, you guys. Thread closed! <laughs> that porn guy got the thread closed. See, so yeah, that, that was already... Oh wait, let's see what her reaction is to this. Invisible guns? I think I'll use it for cute patterns! Cutesy guns. Cutesy guns are very important. Kira Mickey! Encore concert announced! Fans of the famous cyber idol Kira Mickey are in for a huge party, all thanks to the announcement of a second concert in Glitch City's Silver Superdome! I'm so excited to extend my visit, declared the cyber idol during an interview. Idol Hell. You can get tickets for the following retail, Ticket Lord and Idol Hell. Good for her. Anyway. Uh, tickets are now up for sale, expected to disappear in a matter of minutes, so be sure to quick secure the best bots. New act proposals really revealed. Increased surveillance. We have nanomachines tracking people 24-7. However, due to the violent protests that have taken place recently, Prime Minister Quincy is now proposing a new law that will allow the government to shut down anyone with nanomachines in their body using a pulse signal. The guns of the Patriots. Finger guns. More nanomachines. It's all smokescreen to divert attention. Nanomachines. Many people died during the protests, and that all could have been avoided with more control over the masses, Quincy said during a parliament meeting. We have the nanomachine to simply shut down lawbreakers. It's a non-lethal way to end any kind of conflict. It's common sense to use it at this point. Asked about the con possible negative consequences, Quincy refused to make any further comments. That's just a reasonable thing. Oh, this is a new one. Okay. 66 American Kid Returns challenges Giant Isu to a title match. Ever since the Giant Isu won the GSF belt, he's had nothing but negative response from fans. Challenger after challenger has tried to take the title away from the imposing giant, but nearly all of them were injured in the process. You're not supposed to injure people, asshole. Uh, 66 American Kid surprised the GSF world by returning to action almost four months earlier than expected. And the challenging Giant Isu to a title, title match on the January 4th, the Super Silver Dome. Are they gonna like, throw down during the Kira Mickey concert? This January, I'll become the championship the champion GSF deserves. 66 American Kid proclaimed during a promotion for the 25,000 fans, the Kokoro Hall. All right, this is actually destroying my throat. So yeah, this is gonna be the last video I record today. Not that it matters to you, because I record, I release these daily instead. When is that Kira Mickey concert? I guess it doesn't say. It's probably soon. Um, let's go ahead and save. Alright! Stay tuned for more drinking drinks and mixing lives. <laughs>